What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to The Room 2. Quite a long time ago I did an episode on The Room 1. And I love that game. And so I decided that when this one was out, it's been out for a little while, I was going to do episodes on it. So it took me a little time to get around to it. It is an escape room type puzzle game and it's one of the most inventive types of these games I've ever seen. So, we're going to go ahead and get to it. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now, you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room, and I trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. A.S. Okay, we have an eyepiece, which, if you've seen the first two... Uh, videos I did on the room is very very broken but that's okay uh, we need to zoom out and go check the other table this is just the tutorial level so we're gonna try and blow through this pretty quickly I know how to do all this stuff but it's been a while since I played this game so I might not remember it quite as well anymore uh, in the, some of the later puzzles and then we'll just grab that and voila eyepiece thanks very much And now we can see cool shit. Click. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, we got a piece of metal. Take the eyepiece off. And then there's another one over here. Yoink. And we got a letter. 23rd of October, 1883. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach, but as Mr. de Montfacon is fond of saying, needs must as the devil drives. It falls to me, then, to brief you in your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Okay. So who knows what the hell they're talking about? Well, I do. But that's for me to know and you to find out. Pieces of metal. One of the coolest things to me about this game is essentially how they they make the impossible seem plausible. Um, oh, by the way, here's another thing I need to remember. Uh, always use that. Southeast, southwest, north. S-E-S-W-N. Oops. Uh, south, east, south, west, north. Ugh. Thank you. Gimme, gimme. Shiny pieces of metal. Everybody loves shiny pieces of metal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure something matches that shape. And I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Chiclunk. Sweet. And now we need this. Um, it's over here. There it is. Gotta find the symbols. Now it's all extra creepy, too. There we are. That's two. Oh, Jesus. It's so sparkly. Um, 
And there's the other half. To create the doorway. Continue game. All right. Let's go take a look at the other letter we got now. Come on. Uh, there is still no sign and my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I scaled the foremast myself. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest, let alone from the Helena. From the Helena. Regardless, I have had the gun deck run out the cannons. In readiness, it is good to keep the men sharp. Gee, I wonder what it wants us to do. Examine the foremast, which currently nothing can be done with. But if you examine the crow's nest... There is stuff that can be done. Yay, goodies! What do we get? Key? Small gold key. Sweet. And then you'll also notice they told us to run out the guns. I would love a model ship that could actually do all that. Oh, gee, I bet you my key goes here, doesn't it? Ah ha ha! Yeah, I'm suddenly not remembering all of this. Okay, I got a key there. Strange shaped key, and that can go there. Which I guess is too early for it to... Oh wait, no, it lit up a chest. I mean, come on, how cool is this game? I think there was a letter over here. Yeah, right here. I want to read this first. A mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a galleon in full sail? With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following my path or forging one anew? What sights you must have witnessed... If my own experience is any guide, I'll keep leaving notes, and I urge you to do the same, that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there is something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what. Some earthy tang of reality that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. A.S. Sweet. Alright, let's go check out that chest. Um, Starting with this, what do we got? Oh, that opens up, and hey, look at that. We've got icons, which I believe, yeah, our key matches. So I think the one on the bottom is supposed to have the triangle on the top. But who knows about the others yet. And then I see something that does not match. Ha ha ha, we got another one. Small key, and look at that. The one on the right should also have the arrow, or the pyramid pointing inwards. Which, to me, is a pattern. Um, I'll bet you this one's supposed to go that way. Does that match our key? Yep, it certainly does. Okay, so that goes there. And then, actually, I seem to do remember one thing about this particular chest, and it's right over here. Aha! Thank you very much. And... Oh, come on. Other side. Give me that. All the way up. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's over here? Ah, okay. I know what I'm doing. And then that one goes there. And this looks like a switch I can pull. Which finds another one. Sweet. And then another switch over here. And... There we go. And then that probably goes right there. I mean, come on, how can you not love this game? Okay, let's take a look here. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul her broad, her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. 
We sighted her, sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. So north two, west two, south three. North two, south, west two, south three. Aha! And we got a new one. Even the elements turn against us. Passage through the Cape took us four miles west, and we soon sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy ballast, we could easily overhaul her if only this accursed fog should lift. And I see stuff we need to do down here as well. Got to reveal the key. Um, I feel like I should do... Yeah. Perfect. And then... Key? Key? Sweet. Okay. So it's four miles west, four north, and two west. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Oh, wait. Four and two. Bingo. And anytime you see that flashy, shimmery stuff, it always means use that. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon, and there she was, six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east, two miles back towards the Cape. Now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the Cape again. I need a pirate shanty, but I don't know any. Guess I'll just have to, I don't know, steer the ship. Um, there it is. Oop, a little more. A little more. There we go. Close enough, anyway. Did it work? You bet it did. Okay, so what they say? South by six, then east by two, and north by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one. Oh, figurehead. Okay, I know where that goes. That belongs on the, the... the Whatever it was that we couldn't do anything with before. Oh, captain's wheel. Three guesses what we're supposed to do with that. Right there. Uh huh. There's that shimmery stuff again. Let's go ahead and crank this up. Which gives us letters, which can, yep, be manipulated. Rose. Okay. R. O. S. E. Ah, there's the other half of our gem that we needed. Okay. And that'll go right in here. Give me the gem. And then... Chikunk. And we got something new. Oh, and I see letters. I want to read the letters. Give me the letters. The Santa Helena came apart on the rocks at 1800 hours. She heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors, but only one swam clear of the wreckage. He's some sort of scholar, a wild-eyed wreck of a man in tattered, bloody, blood-stained rags. Clutched in his white-knuckled fist was some sort of sculpture that he babbled was of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prowess may have not gone with the Helena. I've had it moved so, to my quarters for safekeeping. And we got something else over here. Ah, another letter by AS, okay. It is the natural tendency of this world to twist itself into ever more elaborated arrangements. Like the spirals of a vortex, at once both the pattern and the system. It seems as though each room is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune the room to find the glyph, and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? 
Am I the explorer? Or the prisoner? A.S. So, we're on this hunt for some unimaginable thing, but nobody knows what it is. Okay, so we've got to wait, and we got to put it on here. Right? Should I go here? Oh, there. That one. Okay. Probably want that first. Small disc. Small disc-shaped space. There we are. Got another weight and another disc. Um, what weight is that one? There we are. This is not one of those games that has a really convoluted plot line, and you really have to think about it if you want to try and figure out how it all makes sense. Not that I'm sure it ever would. There we go. And then we can take that. We gotta wait. And there we are. Hmm. These usually mean, oh, I can move those. Um, I think I know what this is. Oh, I totally remember what this is. Okay, and there's a drawer over here, which, yeah. These were not uh, angled to let the drawer open until you solved that. Another small disc, but we need to put the weight on here first in order for us to do that. There we go. And then right here, thank you very much. Um, I think the early levels I can probably remember pretty well. It's gonna be, there's like one in particular at the end that I remember being super hard for me to figure out. Oh wait, I already see what the solution to this one's gonna be. Thank you for the wait, and look at that. There's my other disc. Now, can I do anything with this one? Yes, I certainly can. Aha! Which changes the shape of the weight to match the star. And then that goes there, and we just need to... Okay, I need to spin this around. And then put those in there. A weight. Which... Aha. Okay. Let's put the little one on there. And then the giant one on there. Okay. Well, I know what to do with the anchor, and we've got the little coil of me uh, metal clock spring. Okay. Let's go do the anchor first. Ship needs an anchor. Um, where's the anchor? F oh, right here. There we are. Metal star. Oh, too far. Yeah, there we go. Um. Huh. Oh, well, metal star. That'll go right there. Come on. There we go. Okay. Can I open? Yep. Open the lid. Um. Now I'm having a little more trouble remembering how all this works. Winding key. Wait, is that... Yep, that's shimmery. Uh, it's not doing anything yet, though. Probably need to do something else with it first. Um, oh, wait. Ah, it is discolored. Okay. Screwdriver. 
Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but there you go. Can I... Yes, I can. Um... There's a latch over here. Man, I'm not remembering this as well as I thought I did. <laughs> okay. And there's the screwdriver. And I'll bet you that goes in there. And then this will go in here. Ha ha! Wind the spring. And now that everything's turning. 250. Um, can I move these? Oh, there we go. So that's 250. There we go. In the Android version, you'd actually have to push both buttons at the same time, but they've changed some of that stuff in this one since you obviously... Ah, don't have two mouses to click with. And then... there we are. Oh, I like these. It's just a ship puzzle. Goes there, that goes there, and that'll go right there. What do I get? Diamond-shaped metal casting. Oh, there we go. Ah, of course. Right there. How cool is that? I love this game. And the next step on our journey. Okay, there we are. Through the next door. Okay guys, I'm pretty much out of time for this episode. I wanna do these in I, I don't want to get halfway through the next puzzle and then have to, to start back up partway through it, so we'll pick this one up in the next episode. I will probably try to just finish this one. It won't take long. This will be maybe three episodes at most. It's not a particularly long game, but I really love these games. So I hope you enjoy it, or at least this is an interesting diversion for you. So I will keep going. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the section below. And as always, I'll see everyone in the next video. Catch you guys later.